Hey guys, welcome to a new series I'm going to be doing on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This episode, I'm going to show you how I beat the Crazy Castle scenario. For this scenario, all we have to do is get 1,500 guests in the park by the end of year 4. So first, we're just going to start by placing down this ferris wheel, something small, easy to get us started with, connect up the paths, and that's done. Next, we're going to place down this ride right across from the ferris wheel. Um, everything that goes in here is going to be pretty small because we don't have such a large area to work with. So you'll see a lot of these small thrill rides go in. Next, place some of these down. And then we add a roller coaster. I didn't feel like designing one, so we threw in a pre-built one, and then we connect up the path. Next, we add bumper cars over on this side, just to help draw all the uh, customers through the park. Get some nice music going with it. And that one's done. Now we throw on a slide right behind the ferris wheel. Fits in pretty nice. Pretty effective use of space. Connect that up to the path. And there's that. Next up is the magic carpet ride. Throw that down right there. Connect it up and it'll be all good. Next, you work on this hedge maze. Uh, it sped up because it took a little longer than I expected. But as you can see, done pretty quick. Very small. Some issues with the entrance and exit, but we get that sorted out. And of course I placed the exit in a bad spot, so we fix that quick. And then we move on. Place down this swinging ride. There's that. Here's a time lapse of the wooden mouse coaster that I built for this scenario. I put in a fair amount of detail into it, so it does take some time. So enjoy the time lapse.
Here's the finished coaster with the building around the station and a quick overview of our park right now. So we keep moving on. We throw in this ride. Just throwing down as much track as possible to fill out this space here. But I don't think it could be effectively used any other way. So once we get that sorted out, we'll be off and move into the next project. Picked up the paths, and we're good. And the merry-go-round fits nice and perfectly in that little slot there. Open it up, and connect the paths, and then we're good. Having a little trouble with the queue line there, but all done now. Next up is this, right next to the merry-go-round. Also fits very nicely in the space. Place some of these, and then we build this ride. This one's kind of annoying because I had to make it float above the paths as we didn't have much space left. And I also forgot that this one can't go up and down, so that was kind of annoying building it. But here it is completed, quick and easy. Connect the paths and fix the station because. I realized that that only allows for two of these cars to go through. Place down some stalls for the food court. Build this uh, tower ride. Fits nice in the corner next to the roller coaster. You can see we're starting to run out of space, so not many more rides will be added. Next we have uh, the Haunted Mansion. Nice storm. And here's an overview of the park. Nice sound of progress as people and money keep coming in. Just pretty much waiting to get the objective at this point. A zoomed out view of the park. And then coming up here we should achieve it. Yep, there it is. So, um, next episode we'll work on the next scenario. I forget what the name of it is. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.